there, I'm Jess Brohart, and welcome to the final episode of Shout Esports. Let's get into the news. First up, Valve made the difficult decision to cancel their live audience for TI-10, the flagship international Dota 2 competition being held this year in Bucharest, Romania. Only teams, talent, and essential staff are present at the event, which began October 7th, and those who purchased in-person tickets will be fully refunded, though many attendees had already arrived in Bucharest by the time the decision was made. Valve says that the decision was made in order to ensure the safety of the players and staff in light of the ongoing pandemic, and also in part due to new local COVID restrictions in Bucharest. Moving on, COD Pro Apathy has announced his retirement. The heartfelt note he posted on Twitter stated that he had been hoping to win a third championship ring before he retired, but that, quote, sometimes in life, things don't go the way you want. But even without that third ring, Apathy is one of only nine players in the history of COD to have won two or more world championships. Fortunately for his fans, he'll be turning to a life of content creation now, saying that it's always what he envisioned himself doing once he retired from competition. In other CDL news, the Minnesota Rocker have added Looney to their coaching roster. Looney is a veteran in the COD scene who will add to the Rocker's already stellar staff as proven by their performance in the Black Ops Cold War season. And the talk on the town is that he's going to be the X Factor for them in Call of Duty Vanguard. As a huge Rocker fan myself, I can't wait to see them rock out next year. Next up, the Overwatch League is undergoing a full-blown roster mania in advance of the 2022 season. The Toronto Defiant, Hangzhou Spark, Guangzhou Charge, and Paris Eternal have all dropped multiple players. And honestly, by the time this video hits stores, I bet we'll be hearing of even more roster changes. Teams are looking ahead to the switchover to Overwatch 2 when the 2022 season begins in April, and they have until January 3rd to lock in their rosters. And finally, PGL has announced the talent lineup for the Stockholm Major, the first CSGO Major in over two years. Many familiar faces will be returning to the desk for the event, some of whom haven't been present at a CSGO event in a few years. 24 teams will compete at the Stockholm Major, which boasts a $2 million prize pool and runs from October 26th through November 7th. Well, that does it for this episode and for this series, but don't fret if you enjoyed my content, you can continue watching videos about how to get into esports and how to improve your content on my own personal channel, youtube.com slash jessbrohard. Or if you want to hang out with me in my Discord community, you can find us at discord.tg slash jess. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.